Hi, Paul from Athletics Weekly, and today we're looking at the new Frontier X2 from Fourth Frontier. Now, this is, well, at first glance, it looks like a, a chest strap heart rate monitor, but it is in fact a portable ECG monitor, combines heart rate, ECG, and it's a wearable monitor. It records the ECG directly from the chest strap and sends that information to your device. So it doesn't just send a signal that's picked up by your watch or a app, it's recording um, on the actual hardware. So in terms of accuracy, it is ECG accurate and it's made by a team of um, consultants, cardiologists. So there's a lot of backing and research behind this particular device. So let's take a look. So as I was saying, this device actually records the electrocardiogram on the device itself. Um, and this is what makes it a lot more accurate than your regular chest straps and heart rate monitors. It's a very small, discrete unit, easy to wear, very comfortable, and it's rechargeable by USB. It lasts about two days with continuous use. The accompanying app is available on Android and Apple devices. Um, dead easy. Download the app, check for any updates. The hardware itself can be updated over the air, so as the device is developed, check for that as well. And you can see here I did that and I was ready to go in just a few minutes. So once everything was updated, we were ready to connect to the watch. You can connect it directly to a Garmin device or an Apple Watch as I'm using here. Um, they have its, um, its own app, so you can download that dead easy and go ahead and connect. Connects over Bluetooth, really couldn't be simpler. You don't need the app, you can use, um, you don't need a watch rather, you can use the app on your phone if you run with your phone, if you're using music, stuff like that, then do that by all means, dead easy to do. And that records the information at hand and there's a lot more in-depth information on the app. So a lot of people are familiar with using heart rate, but that's only uh, part of the story. We're also recording the ECG information, including our breath rate, uh, the cardiac strain, and a total of our weekly training load or volume. And this is measured and calculated over a four week period to give you a rolling assessment of how hard you should train going forward. And the device and the app will give you suggestions of how much to do on a daily or weekly basis once it's learned um, from your past training. Once um, you finish your run, the information available on the app or on the online version is um, very in-depth. You've got ECG graphs, you can look at heart rate graphs, um, all this information can be shared as well. You can look at heart rate variability. Um, the device is also recording your breathing rate, um, your rate of cadence. Um, wow, so much to go into, to be perfectly honest. Um, and there is a, for data geeks, there is an overwhelming amount of information. Um, but with that, those kind of people that have had issues with their health and heart before. Um, it's a great in-depth device for recording and giving you a great insight that you can share with doctors, cardiologists um, and experts and the like. Um, all this data very easily and it's easy to record it. Now on the device you can set parameters uh, before you train so that it will give a gentle vibration on your chest as to warnings to the kind of heart rate zones, um, your breathing rate, um, the cardiac strain, all these kinds of things that you can learn and the device will learn over a period of time so you can set them to help you pace yourself and maybe develop a pacing strategy for training sessions or even a race or marathon in the future. This morning for example I was using breathing rate so um, this is a good measure for um, a rate of perceived exertion and for recovery so the device would buzz gently 
um, when I exceeded a certain limit. But you can do that for breathing rate, heart rate, um, a multitude of metrics that the device will record. But ultimately, the beauty of this device is its accuracy and the ability for it to record the ECG data. So along with um, heart rate, the ECG, the cardiac strain, the training load, the breathing rate, this is data that you can use and share um, and you can even share it with a cardiologist via the Fourth Frontier website to get um, a kind of private consultation and a deeper insight into your own personal training load um, going forward. So this is the, uh, the Frontier X2 from Fourth Frontier.